Hello. This video is a tutorial for how to use PyCharm for complete beginners, and especially if you are doing code in place, Stanford's class on Carol in Python. There are several things you need to pay attention to here. Is first, PyCharm preference. Make sure the interpreter is selected as Python 3.8. And you can do this by following the handout called Car uh, Carl Carol um, PyCharm. In there, there is a download file. It depends on whether you have Windows or Mac machine. And you should download the appropriate Python. And either way, probably you need to download it. Even though Mac comes with Python, but it's Python 2.7. And this year, Python has been deprecated. Um, but Python is required for Mac to function, so don't try to remove it. There are several things here you can do. Note that there is a terminal here you can open. This is where you run your Python script file. You can press the name of the file, enter the name of the file, and using tab key to complete. Right now, it's not self-completing because capital S is not unique, but T is. So we'll auto-complete when I press the tab key. The tab key, T-A-B, is located right below the number 1 on the left side. Because I already select Python 3.8 as my interpreter, I no longer have to specify the Python version when running the script. All Python scripts have a dot .py extension name. I use tab to autocomplete, and then I can press enter to run this code. And you notice Carol's world has loaded. When I run the program, Carol does exactly what I wrote on the screen, and then stop. I can select whether I want Carol to go slowly, in which way I can view Carol's behavior better, or I can make Carol go fast to quickly iterate through the results. Note, if I make a change here by adding, let's say, one more move, pass is just a placeholder. You can delete it once you start finding code. Press Command S to save, or it's auto saved. And now I have to exit out of Carol by pressing the red cross. Now I want to do it again by typing in Python stone mason carol.py, for example. Note, you can just press the up arrow to auto-complete exactly what you did before. Note that Carol moves a little further because I changed my code. A real quick thing is there is the Python interactive console here, signified by this three carrot sign. Here, you can write real Python, like print hello world, or 3 plus 5 equals to 8. Or, if true, and notice the indentation is automatic, print hello. And then you have to enter again to exit out of that block of code, and it will print hello. Real quick, earlier we've seen, so to navigate back, we want to click on the terminal to navigate back. Press up key to run our script again. Notice I can note a new world file. And the world files are in this .w format. Without changing anything, let's take a look at what .w world really looks like. It's actually simpler than you think. If I open this folder, I can see it's very simple. It just tells me how big Carol's world is, which is 5 by 5. Carol starts at the bottom left corner, 1 by 1, and then facing east. And Carol has access to infinite number of beepers in their bag. Carol is gender non-binary. And finally, real quick, 
Whenever you run a script, you see on the top it says from Carol. That stands for Carol. Import asterisk. It means import everything in this file. And where is that file? First, from Carol, Python somehow knows to look at where that folder is, and you can see PyCharm very helpfully tell us where to look, which is assignments one slash Carol slash. Stanford Carol, and then we can see here we have all the functions that Carol needs to import in order to function. So that's a quick introduction for Carol and PyCharm. One thing that we didn't cover here is how to debug by implementing these breakpoints, like this red dot. This will not be covered in this session because it's advanced use. And we will figure this out later. Right now, I encourage you to think manually through what Carol is doing at every step, instead of trying to use a fancy debugger. It's very important during technical interviews, and when people are asking you whether you know how to code, to be able to manually write it. Did you know that at Stanford, many of the finals in computer science department requires you to have no computer and no editor. You have to hand read some of the code. Notice that when you are doing the indentation, right, which is tabs here, and you can see the tab is actually four spaces. The indent is four spaces. So if I do the equivalent of hitting the space bar one, two, three, four, four times, I land at the same place. When when I nicely format my code, what's nice is I can collapse this code. My editor will know where to collapse and shrink the code, so I can view my file better by hiding the unnecessary details. So decluster, but careful not to delete this because if you would do, uh, you will lose a lot of code. So now, voila, it's a cleaner format.